All right, let's uh, pump in a signal from uh, a simple uh, waveform generator. So we'll do sine first. Sorry if it hurts your ears. Um, I'm just changing frequency. I'll try to get a nice standing wave. There you go. Um, you can see the nodes on that one. Um, the uh, Volume corresponds to amplitude as usual, so the louder the signal is, um, the wider, the taller it is. Um, if you go too loud, you can start seeing uh, lines in the middle, so having a sharper, smaller line is uh, seems to be better in, in terms of keeping it defined. Uh, let me try to find a, just a single um, standing wave in order to show you different waveforms. All right. Well, let's just try that. It's the closest I can get to a to a constant. So let's let's try some different wave forms. You got a sawtooth wave, as you can see. It's actually quite quite defined for something so simple. I apologize to headphone users. Let's try another. There's a nice triangle wave. Very clear. And an annoying square wave. Mm, tasty sound there. Mm, let's do an FM modulated sine wave. This is cool to play with. So that's just a normal sine wave, and if we increase the FM index, we get some sine wave division. You can get some very, very beautiful patterns on it. All right, it's enough wave, simple waveforms. Let's get some uh, music going. What music would be good with this? Let's do something hectic first. Aphex Twin. I think that's hectic enough. Try something a little calmer. Something with maybe pure tones, not so much bass. Liquid Mind will do.
bit about some orchestral work. Mulholland Drive soundtrack, David Lynch, Angelo Badalamenti. That might be interesting. Fantastic soundtrack. And there you have it, uh, quick and easy oscilloscope. If any of you have uh, recommendations for music that you would like to see on it and listen to, uh, you can leave comments below. Also, I can change the color of it if I add a video signal uh, on top of it. Um, so any, uh, I'll gladly take any suggestions. And. Uh, that's about it. Enjoy.